Hello, friends. Still messing with the Bianco Nero. So I'm going to ask three questions, pulling a total of seven cards. The first question is, who wants to communicate through this deck? Who wants to communicate through this deck? The second question is, what, and I'm going to pull three cards for that to get a feel for who this is. And then what is your first message? I'm going to pull three cards for that. And then lastly, one card for how often do you want me to communicate? And based on that, for that last question, I'm basing it on numbers and suits. So we'll return to that when I get to that question. So if I end up with a a major, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So, all right. Who wants to communicate through this deck? Three of Cups. And this flashed at me. This flashed at me. Naiads, Dryads, the Graces. Who, who, what other sets of three, male, three females would this represent? The Three of Cups. It's at any rate, I feel like it is, in fact, a feminine presence. Um, it seems like it is a multiple feminine presence. You know what it makes me want to do? It makes me want to get out the Vintage Wisdom deck. But, and it's funny that it is a female presence wanting to come through because... This deck strikes me as very male gaze. Like, it, 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 you know, it's just not a stretch to believe that it is a man who illustrated this particular picture and the rest of the deck. So it has that whole male gaze things and women scantily clad. It, some of the men are also scantily clad. I will give him that. Um, but anyway three of something. But there's also, is it the Hesperides? The three um, women who are watching over the tree of life or something. The eight of swords in the reverse, meaning they are not bound. They are free. They are in no way bound. So that would eliminate the Hesperides because they are limited in where they're at. They can only be there and we can't reach them. So that's interesting. All right. So they are free. This could also mean that they are not intellectual. Let's see what the last card is. The Two of Wands. Not far away, we are present. We are not far away, we are not intellectual. So it could be even land spirits of some kind. It could also be, I would think of ancestors as not being far away, but as a group is kind of weird. Friends, I have a couple of friends who have passed away but only a couple, only one of which I could think of as ever conceiving of communicating in this way. Um, well, I don't know, maybe I'm misjudging this other friend, I don't know. All right, so if anybody else has suggestions for who these three women might be, Feel free to share in the comments. Give me a suggestion. So what is the first? The first message, three of pentacles. I think this first message is that something is slowly coming your way. I could even see it saying you're in the right place for now. This is the place to stop. Let's see what else it has to say. It's 
Stop overthinking it. Stop rethinking it. Sit still. Queen of Swords, sit still, let things come to you, don't go to them. Let things come to you. Let others come to you for a request. Sit and be grounded. I have a bad habit of coming up with ideas and letting it pull me into different directions. And so it's saying, no, you're the one with the sword. You are the one with it. Don't be accepting anybody else's. And don't be taking that sword. You've got the one and let other people come to you. An interesting message. An interestingly swordsy message, an earthy message from this Three of Cups trio here. Alrighty, and how often do you want me to communicate? In other words, how often do you want me to bring out the cards and say hello? And here we have the lovers reversed. The step likes the lovers card. Um, six, maybe every six weeks. Every month and a half or so, I'll take it that way. So say if it were the Six of Pentacles. If it were the Six of Pentacles, I would have said um, six times a year. So every other month. And so this is almost that. I would have said that. If it were the Six of Cups, then it would have been six times a month. So a little over once a week. If it was the Six of Wands, it would have been six times a week. And if it was the Six of Swords, it would have been six times a day, which would have been excessive. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to say every six weeks. Could be every six months as well. Um, I don't think it's every six days. <laughs> but... Um, I could see it being every six weeks or every six months. How likely am I to remember that? I have a very poor habit of um, saying that I should bring out a deck and run it through a particular um, spread that it works well with. on like a monthly basis and then I never do and it's not until I get out that deck again and I and usually that whatever the spread is I have it tucked in the deck somewhere and I never do it <laughs> you know, so it's like like I did recently with the majestic earth it's like oh yeah there's this spread I like to do with this deck and I was going to do it like every week or every month and nope all right so this was just to take this out and look at this. I'm curious about who these are, these three. It's something just occurred to me, which is going to sound crazy, but hey, here we are. Um, so it's not far, and I had already said, I believe, that it could be land spirits. Free land spirits, not trapped. So my primary spirits of this land that I sense on my property are three turkey hens. Wild, free, turkey hens. <laughs> So it's the three turkey hens. It's the three turkey hens. Um, that's what occurs to me. If I if I if I'm not being mythological, then 
it would be the three turkey hens, which is a music amusing as all get out. I would never think to consult them. I would never think that they were wanting to talk to me unless they're trying to talk to me about the land. But I can't find a way to reinterpret this to have any particular meaning. Um, if this had been like in the springtime, then this Ace of Swords would have been stop cutting down the young trees because I spent a bunch of, well, I can't say a bunch of time. I was, I had a little mini chainsaw and thank God they make these little mini chainsaws because they're so handy. Even I could use them. And Every now and then, I just went out there and was able to cut down young trees like a couple of years old, unfortunately, um, that they had gotten that big. And did away with them because I really needed them not to be growing so close to my house. So then I would take this as a request to stop doing that. But at this stage, I'm not doing that. This can also be, it isn't always the first thought that I use for for reversed cards, but this could also be refrain from self-criticism. In other words, a reversed card is pointing back at you. So we'll see. This is definitely kind of be still, be where you are. This is also be still, let others come to you. and uh, check back in six weeks. Fair enough. Alrighty, now I know. It's a turkey deck. <laughs> it's a spirit turkey deck. <laughs> Again, feel free to suggest some other possibilities down in the comments. Take care, bye-bye.